Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today we're doing a little bit more work on my TW200. So let's jump right into it. So if you can't tell, I'm a pretty big guy and this is a pretty small bike. In fact, it weighs less than me. So what does that mean? That means I eat too much. But what does that mean for the bike? The bike needs a bigger spring. So today we're going to install the rear spring. I've already done the front spring among many other things. So if you have a TW and you're looking to upgrade it, be sure to check out all my videos on my playlist. So today I'm going to show you how to remove the rear spring and replace it with a heavier duty one. Or if you have to just replace it, this will work too. So let's jump right into it. So we're going to start off by actually removing the top nut here. So the bolt is a 17, the nut is a 14. It looks like this panel may need to come off to remove this, even maybe the gas tank. Ideally I don't want to do that, but such is life. Well, that just pops off, so that's nice. It does look like the gas tank has to come up a little, so let's just pull it up and then get that out. To remove the gas tank, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter, or at least hopefully we can just tilt it up a bit uh, and then free that bolt. Yeah, looks like that's all we really need to do. You wanna be careful not to pinch or destroy these wires down here. All right, now the bike is on a lift. I don't like uh, haunching down to work on things, so I'm gonna raise it up and then I'm gonna raise the actual jack up that the bike is on so the rear assembly can go down and give us more space to work on. Alrighty, so here is the backside of the shock. It is covered with um, a piece of rubber. We gotta actually jack the bike up a little bit to let the rear end sag a bit more to give us more space over here to work. So as you can see, the bike is going up but the rear end is staying down because we have disconnected the shock up the top. All right, so this is actually a cotter pin assembly. So we're gonna have to take the pin out and pull the bolt out. So I'm gonna jump onto that and get back to you. All right, so I've removed the cotter pin. Now let's pull out the shock. Watch out, there are um, rubber grommets here on the inside of the shock. You don't wanna lose those. So I'm really trying to see if we can do this without removing the tire. I think we gotta go up a bit more. Nope, that's as bottomed out as it can be. Alrighty, I was able to remove that without taking the tire, uh, just a little finesse. You probably can take the rear off if you want, but I wanted to show you it's possible. So now let's get to replacing the actual spring. The cool thing about working on a bike on a car lift is you got this other table slash workspace right next to you, so I'm going to raise this up so I'm not bending down. Alrighty, so as you can see, the yellow one is the stock one and the red one is the heavy duty one. The yellow one has a thinner gauge steel and it looks more of a progressive style coiling and then this is an evenly distributed coil. So let's remove this spring and put the new one on. All right, so guys, so the tool I'm gonna to be using today is a spring compression tool. Uh, there'll be a link below on how to get this or where to get it. I have no idea the price because I bought it a while ago. But guys, everything you see in my videos, I have links down below for you guys to actually get the products. Uh, yes, there are different ways to do this. If you don't wanna buy this tool because this is the only project you're using, you can use C-clamps. There's different videos out there as well. So let's get to figuring out if this tool will work to compress the spring so we can replace it. All right 
right, guys, by no means do I recommend this. Uh, I have my phone ready in case I have to call 911. Uh, but yeah, let's give it a go. Okay, that's in. Now it just needs to be in position when we unwind this. Woo! All right, that is, that is on. Forgive me while I go take a shit. All right, so putting back the shock, um, because it's a bigger shock, I couldn't do it without removing something. I chose to remove the exhaust. Really only three bolts and pretty simple to uh, remove. So I'm gonna put this back on and then call it a day. So thanks a lot for tuning in. As always, be sure to like, subscribe if you find this content helpful and interesting. And if not, leave your hate below. Until next time, I'll see you then.